Alright, so hear me out before people kick off. So I know a lot of people like Infinity War. It's been a little bit since I came back and saw it. I've been like regaining myself. And my initial reaction was, oh, is that it? Um, which isn't a very good reaction. And looking back at it, I kind of just let the ending of the film overcloud everything that happened. It was an alright film. And that's the word that I've been using to describe it, is all right. Um, it's not great, I, it's not my favourite. You've got to bear in mind this is all my personal opinion and stuff. It's okay. Um, there are way too many protagonists, so nobody really shines. Um, the deaths in it, you know, they don't really impact a lot, uh, which is a shame. Even if they are permanent, and then at the end... Spoilers, by the way. Spoiler alert. Just gonna throw that out. Just the ending, just everybody suddenly dying, apart from, like, a handful of people, doesn't really make sense to me. Surely if you're gonna have Thanos win, and everyone get killed off, everyone should get killed off, apart from the original Avengers and... Michonne from The Walking Dead, who could be Michonne, but might not actually be Michonne. She looks like Michonne. <laughs> I haven't Googled it. So, just for reference, I have seen all of the Marvel films, apart from Black Panther and Guardians 2 and 4-2, uh, I think. So, I'm not going into this blind. I was very excited. I knew what was going on. Like I knew the whole Infinity War build-up and all that sort of stuff. Um, it were, it was weird. The first two acts were really, really good. There was no throwaway moments which disappointed me the most. I was waiting for that big money shot, the big, you know, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but in Avengers 1, they had it where um, Captain America and Iron Man were fighting and they were, like, beaming off of, like, the shield and, like, helping each other. And then in Civil War, they had it where it was, like, Bucky and Cap taking on Iron Man all in one shot. I was waiting for that moment, and it happened, and it were a bit naff, and it was, it's because it was Black Panther and Captain America, and not everyone, it should have been everyone. Um, a lot of people really, really like the film, it was alright, like I said, I don't think that it is a decade's worth of build-up culminated in one film, and the fact that they didn't put Avengers Infinity War part one in the title kind of annoys me because that's is essentially what it is and people going into this thinking that it's going to have a definitive end are going to be disappointed um i know that the people that i was in the cinema with weren't like you know nobody was like cheering because of how great it was that, that's what you kind of expect from a film like this you expect everyone to be like oh yeah it was great it was brilliant and everyone was just sort of like oh, all right that happened it was Marvel's equivalent to Deathly Hallows Part 1, where the ending was just sort of abrupt and like, bam, that's it, see you in a year. And I don't think that works for Marvel. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, I get, I get it, I get why they did it, and it works, and they're going dark with Thanos, and they're making Thanos really awesome, Thanos was great, uh, the Black Order or whatever they're called was really, really good, Ebony Moore was amazing. There's loads of really, really good parts, but for me, the ending just stuck with me as being really, really bad. Um, it made absolutely zero sense to me as why you would cut out three quarters of the cast. And I know that I said that there were too many people, but you can't go from having, like, 20 people to then having, like, two. It doesn't really work. Especially when the majority of the people that you've taken out are fan favourites like Spider-Man, <laughs> like Black Panther, you know, they're, they're these people that have, you know, they're, they're going to be in the next decade of films. Um, so I don't know how the next one's going to work. My assumption is that they will find a way to wiggle out the time stone from the gauntlet and use it to bring people back and then everyone's just going to pound Thanos' backside um, and then boom, scrolls with some help from Captain Marvel. Um, which we won't get onto the... I'll talk about the end credits and explain it to some people that might not understand it after. Um, but overall, you know, there were a lot of... 
really, really good characters and a lot of dickish characters that, like, I had liked and now no longer like. Um, I really like Thor. Um, Captain America was really, really cool. He didn't go by Captain America, but he didn't also go as the Nomad, which was a little bit weird. He just went by Steve. Um, Hulk was disappointing, but Bruce Banner was great. Um, some of the comedy was on point. Doctor Strange was pretty fucking good. Um... I'm looking at a poster now, and I was like, wait, why isn't Black Panther on it? It's got War Machine on it, who was in the film for, like, five minutes in total. Um, characters like Falcon and War Machine, you can probably assume, didn't do a whole lot. Rocket Raccoon did quite a bit, which was nice. And Groot had a, had a couple of moments. Star-Lord pissed me off, because um, he was just being a little bitch about things. Uh, I didn't really like him too much, I was just sort of meh with him. The whole, like, snarky, sarcastic 24-7 characters, like him and Deadpool, don't really mix well with me. But that's just because I'm into, like, dark fucking Batman shit. Um, but I really, really liked the fact that they built up Thanos throughout the film. He got he felt like an actual character. Um, I just think that the ending was really abrupt, and it's going to be weird how they're going to get themselves out of this situation, because like I said, they killed off a lot of people, and they are dead. Like, you see their bodies physically f pull apart into dust. So, it's going to be interesting, to because it's obvious that all these people aren't going to stay dead. You can't kill off Groot, Spider-Man, War Machine, Falcon, uh, Black Panther, Bucket, everybody in the same film it doesn't work so it's very very obvious that they're going to be back um you can't you know throw in nick fury into there because of the end credits um so i just wanted to like i want to put out there that if anybody's concerned about that you know don't worry about it you'll be all right they will we'll be back pretty fucking soon um loki died which was a very brutal death um sort of out of nowhere like once it started you was like yeah Loki's gone the same with Gamora it was nice to see Red Skull back um there was like all the theories that he's, he is actually alive and it turned out yeah he was um I don't know like they've got this habit of showing things in the trailers and then like they show too much in the trailers but what they do is they take the scene and then they change the background or like add things in in the actual movie so for example we saw like spider-man jumping through like debris and stuff and then in the film he's doing that but there are actually like chunks of debris following him and he's got the iron spider legs out and he's like helping mantis when stuff like that happens for me at least it pulls me out a little bit and i'm like shit oh yeah this is all cgi um so i've got a little bit of an issue with that and it's sad, but I'm comparing the film to Suicide Squad. Now, the film's better than Suicide Squad, but the feel of it, the fact that I was more excited about the advertising and the marketing and the build-up of it rather than the actual film because the ending just didn't sit well with me is unfortunate, <laughs> um, to say the least. I think I'm going to wait until it comes out on DVD. I'm not going to go see it again. Um, it won't be long until it's out on DVD. Black Panther's almost out on DVD and it's only been out like two or three months since cinemas. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I was sort of like 50-50 with it. I kind of wanted to make this review because I didn't want sort of... Like, everybody's going to be raving over this film and I didn't want to be the only person sat here thinking, eh, it were a bit naff. <laughs> um... But yeah, like I said, there are good points, there are bad points. There's not really any big moments, like I said. Um, if there are, we've seen them already. Like Captain America stopping Thanos' hand. We've seen it. We knew it was going to happen. I was waiting for it to happen. You know, Vision being killed, we basically saw it in the trailer. Um, it's, it is weird where they're going with it. And I'm interested to see who manages to come back or whether they're going to bring everybody back and then kill somebody off. And, you know, I'm interested to see what happens in Ant-Man and Captain Marvel. But I'm not going to be going to see them in the cinema. I think I'm just going to wait for those and uh, and, and see what happens then. People that are, that are saying, like, oh my god, no, they've killed off Spider-Man. 
just Google the fact that there's going to be a sequel. Sorry <laughs> to ruin your immersion. The only people that are going to be like, I feel, I, I don't know. I've got an issue with people building up films more than they are. And this is going to happen with Avengers Infinity War. People are going to build it up and build it up and build it up and make out that it's like the best film ever and it's not. It's got no story to it, which reviewers have admitted it's just a wild ride. Which is what Suicide Squad was. <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Um, but people are going to keep on building it up. And I'm hoping that Marvel doesn't turn into just like a Tumblr feeder. Where they're just like, here... Take loads of Stucky. Here. Look, we're killing people off and bringing them back to fuck with your emotions. I don't want that. I just want it to be good. <laughs> I just want it to be good. I don't want Peter Dinklage to play a dwarf. I just want it to be good. 4 was brilliant. I don't know why I'm now such a 4 fan. Um, I wanted some Hella and I wanted Scrolls. My expectations were just really, really high going into it, and I've accepted that, and I think that when I came out and I was like, holy shit, I didn't like it, I feel like that was just like my initial reaction to the end. So, it was alright, if you're on the fence about going to it, I would wait until this upcoming weekend to go see it, I wouldn't rush and like get caught in traffic or wait for ages in a queue and stuff like that, just take your time, chill out, relax, go with friends. Um... It's definitely one of those films that you shouldn't go in expecting a lot. Expect a lot from the next one. Because that's the one where things are actually going to happen. That is the end of the current run of Marvel films. Um, because we're going to lose people. Whereas this one, we've not really lost anyone. The, we almost lost Iron Man. Um... Because he got stabbed in the stomach and just shrugged it off. If he had it, I gasped. Because I was like, shit, they've killed him off. And I don't think we're near the end. And we weren't near the end. And they hadn't killed him off. So, I'm assuming we're going to get another one of those. And because they've duped us with the Iron Man one, I think Iron Man's going to die in the next. But I'm sure that we can do a whole video predicting that. So, we'll see. I might do a video on the um, end credits because it was a little bit shitty as well. It was just a teaser for Captain Marvel. A lot of people don't, didn't get it though because they haven't seen like Captain Marvel's logo or anything like that and they don't really get that that's coming out later on this year. Um, but I do think that if you're on the fence about going, I would wait a little bit. Don't rush. You know, go when you're ready. If people are like, come on, we've got to go see it fucking now. Just be like, look, calm your shit. Nobody important dies. I'll see you later.